Okay, today we are playing a game on Route 66. We are playing Reinhardt, Roadhog, and Winston at various points therein, and we do not know the exact SR of this game because we were queued with someone who was doing their placements, though we look to be somewhere in the gold range. Somewhere. In the accompanying email, there is a question. As a short-range character, how does one deal with long-range char long characters in overtime when you can't go in to remove the problem? It's easier on payload, of course, which also doubles as cover, but on pap point maps, it can be rough. Oh my god, the English language is so dis so hard. So, there is not much you can do about it, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it is a lot worse on maps where, like, uh, Hanamura or Volskaya, where you're standing on the objective and you can't leave because they'll capture the objective, but there's a soldier, like, all the fuck way over there fucking with you. There's really not very much you can do about it. Um, if you're a hero that can get to them quickly, you can go over there and try and kill them, but... It's, uh, it's gonna be hard, basically. You have to know your team are not gonna die if you leave them behind to try and deal with them, but there isn't... There, there's no good answer. Basically, you have to hope that you can leave the point to deal with them, or you have to hope that you win the point on the fight even if that person is there. There's really not very much you can do about it as a short-range hero, or as a long-range hero, because you usually have more pressing matters at that point, like the Reinhardt that's in your face trying to kill you, which is a bit more pressing than the soldier that's all the way over there heckling you, you know? There's, there's really no good answer to that question, unfortunately. By the way, our current team composition is Reinhardt, Zarya, Junkrat, Soldier 76, Symmetra, and Mercy. Um, I don't like when Symmetra takes up one of the healer slots because only having one healer is hard. Uh, other than that, there's not much to say about it, really. This is pre-Mercy nerf, by the way. I think this is the last game we have that's pre-Mercy nerf, but I'm not 100%. So yeah, no no really good answer for the question in the email. Sorry. Uh, this is a 28-minute game on Route 66. Weird, I know, so we're just going to start. Because, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So our team are off there doing their own thing, you know. Sorry if they want to do that. It's their decision. We've got Soldier over here standing with us, so we're going to stand in the way of him right now. Roadhog poked his face out down there, got some ult charge off him. There's not a lot going on right now, because they're still pushing their way up. They have a Bastion, which is uh, concerning to us, because we are playing Reinhardt. Now, this is one of those maps where it's not that hard to try and get up and pin the Bastion off of the payload, because you can kind of hop off the gas station and try to pin him. And that's usually good enough to kill a Bastion, as we do right here. Unfortunately, by the time we were actually able to do this, two of our team were already dead. So that's kind of the issue right there. If the rest of our team were still alive, it would be no issue. And here, we've got my boy, V-Dubs. My boy, let them walk right through. Yeah, let's go fight them inside in front of their spawn. That's definitely what we want to do instead, isn't it? Mm-hmm. People have uh, started doing this less, where they're like, Oh, you're just going to let them push all the way to the fucking end, why don't you? When we're like waiting for them to actually get into a decent area to try and defend them. Like People have started doing that less. During the first like six months of Overwatch being released, it was absolute fucking hell. But people have gotten uh, slightly less terrible at the video game, if you can believe it. Um, so, uh, two of our team are already dead again by the time we get back, so our options as Reinhardt are rather limited. We don't manage to pin the Winston, which is unfortunate. Aim your entire body better. Uh, don't, don't use Earth Shatter. It's, it's a waste. We've lost this fight. Uh, it's just, it's not gonna work. If we get Rez to try again, we're just, we're gonna die a second time. Don't even use the Earth Shatter. It's not going to work out. You've already lost the uh, fight by that point, and Earth Shatter by itself is l unlikely to turn it around when you're, like, that far behind already. It can, but it's unlikely. Better off just saving it for when your team are actually there. So now we've changed to Roadhog. Um, I have to imagine this is largely because of Winston. I'm not with it because Zarya Roadhog is a really awful combination of tanks. I'd rather you were playing D.Va because D.Va can still fight Winston and 
You could so here here's here's the the breakdown. Diva can still fight this boy. Diva can actually fight these boys, which Roadhog like can, but they have to fuck up to actually let you kill them. And as we know, any play that revolves around the enemy team being bad is itself a bad play. Diva can still fight Roadhog. Diva like fucks Roadhog's day. Like Roadhog hates playing against Diva, so like shut out easy money. And Diva can still bully these people. Roadhog can bully this person, maybe this person, but it, like, also kind of depends on him fucking up, and these people depend on him fucking up. Like, Diva seems to be all round more consistent pick right here. Diva's just one of those heroes that's very rarely bad, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, Diva's one of those heroes that, like, she might not be the best pick, but she's probably not, she's also probably just gonna be fine, also. She's unlikely to be bad. Um, when is Diva bad? I mean, basically, it's if they're like, if they're like May Zarya, you're gonna start to have trouble. But at that point, like, they've probably got bigger issues if they've got a May coming around on their team, you know. Anyway, so Diva, uh, not Diva, um, Junkrat's managed to kill both their supports with his tire, so that's great news for us. We're sitting really far back right now. Like, we should be going in. Like, we should be like going in there because we're winning this fight right now. They've lost both their supports. We should be going in there trying. To Trying hard to kill these people while they're trying to back out. We're playing like really tentatively, but like there's not much reason to right now. So he hooked and killed their uh, Winston. That's cool. Their soldier's using tack visor though, and has killed our mercy. It's uh, it, it's starting to look bad. We've managed to hook the soldier, but he's got a lot of things healing him, so it's going to be pretty hard for us to actually kill him. And he manages to scamper off like the rat that he is. So a lot of our team are currently dead, so we're actually we're gonna have a lot of trouble winning this fight. Now Mer now now Zara is dead as well. All right, we're fucked. Uh, our our boy, B Dub's over here. Can we get a shield of some sort for fuck's sake? If only the shield tanks were that like that good, you know, like, uh, you know, Arissa. This is a bad time. Like Diva's look. Can we get a shield at some point? Diva. You know what a sh <laughs> Does he know what a shield is, though? Does my boy know what a shield tank is? Or is this just like a word that he's heard somebody say at some point, and he's just gonna repeat it now because we're losing the game and he doesn't have anything actually productive to say? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, GG, no one knows how to adapt yet, I guess. He said, playing Genji against Winston, McCree, and Roadhog. Hmm. Ah. Yes, yeah, hmm. That's a, that's a bit of, that's a, it's a bit inconsistent right there, isn't it? Well, I guess it's not it's not inconsistent, it's hypocritical is actually what it is. But uh it's very hard to uh it's hard to be honest with yourself. And some people never learn how to do that. Me, I know I'm fucking bad. V dub's over here, thinks he's he thinks his shit don't stink. Little does he know, he is the shit itself. That's why he can't smell it. Anyway, so we've hooked this boy here. He's dead. Fantastic. Now we've been hooked by that boy. We got Discord Orb on us, but we're playing Roadhog, so we can kind of hobble our way back across. They didn't have any follow-up crowd control. Their Roadhog's using his ultimate. Um, we're basically waiting for that to end before, because we don't want to like go out there and try to fight his with ours. That doesn't usually go super well. So we come over here. We uh, tried to hook Mercy, but she just like kind of unexpectedly died. Roadhog's not really very good at doing this, uh, sneaky deaky flank around the side stuff. Like, we're better off just kind of like letting Reaper go off and do that. There's not really much a point us going with him. We're better off like hanging out with our team and like doing our job as Roadhog, basically. Uh, our boy here. Our boy V Dubs. That's a wrap. Stick to casual. Mmm. Oh. Ah. I see. 
So, our, by the way, our mercy did change to Anna. That's fucking terrible. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. This is pre-mercy nerf as well. What an objectively wrong decision. So we're, like, fucked by the time we even get back out here. It's just not going to happen. I don't think Roadhog was the, the pick. I still think D.Va was better. But, like, us going in, going in with uh, Reaper and getting picked off right there was, like, pretty bad because we had our ultimate which might have stalled out that fight if we didn't get picked off because then by the time we get back to the fight it's basically already over so there's not much for us to contribute by that point and uh it, it was just kind of all over by that point so i don't think diva was the i don't think roadhog was the pick anyway but we could have played the pick better in the circumstance as well roadhog's just not good at like going around the sides basically like because he he just doesn't kill people as well as he used to. You're better off just sticking with your team, especially when there's a Winston on the enemy team. Like, you're meant to sit with your team at that point and bully the Winston as soon as he tries to jump in, um, rather than sneaking around trying to pick off their mercy. Let, let, let the people who are good at doing that deal with that. So we're playing Winston now. Um, fair enough. Bit, bit of It's a bit of a spooky choice because... They did pick Bastion at the start of the attacking round, and uh, they had a Roadhog as well during their round. So, it could uh, end up being difficult to play Winston. This is not really the case, but it's, it's a bit of a spooky to pick to make out of the game. So we managed to kill their Mercy. Fucking fantastic. And then we got away with it all. The perfect crime. Nobody even knows it happened except for the person that we murdered. Uh, their their uh, soldier is also currently dead. We are playing like re real tentatively right now. We're sitting like real far back for some reason, even though like we've got the initiative right now because we've killed two of them and one of them was their main healer. So we can be like you know walking up here, getting more in. Um, we put our bubble down right here. I'm not a big fan of that because we're probably going to be jumping in right soon, and we kind of need that to actually protect us from people because there's there's still a Zenyatta over there that we want to try and kill as well. And we're generally just not very good at sitting on the objective as Winston, so... This is, uh, this is a very angry, fiery dwarf right here just came up and put his gun right in our face. He unle he expunged his molten core all over us, and it didn't feel very good. We've been rezzed by Mercy, so, you know, that's cool and all, but... Uh, their, their team is difficult for us to play against as Winston because they have a Roadhog and a Torbjorn, both of whom make it difficult to play Winston. However, Torbjorn is now dead. Winston, uh, Roadhog is not currently dead, which is an issue. But it's alright, we're just gonna leave, and we're gonna start trying to kill their mercy. Got hung up on Win on uh, Roadhog. I keep trying to call Roadhog Winston for some reason. Roadhog's dead now. No longer any reason to be concerned. Man, we've been, uh, we've been running after this mercy for a while. She just wants us to fuck off. We got there in the end. Uh, we spent a lot of time just, like, chasing the mercy around. It could have been better executed. Because we... Uh, we get hung up on Roadhog, which kind of fucks it up, and I'm like, oh god, I oh, have to spend a lot of time running after her, but like, we're playing Winston. There's not a lot of, like, mechanical s skill involved with running someone down, really, other than, yeah, just kind of, like, predict where they're gonna go and jump on them, you know? So that's happening over there. That went a lot better than, ex like, a lot better than expected right there. Holy shit. So both of their supports are dead right now. Um, we we saw in the kill feed that Junkrat's tire died, but Junkrat didn't die. So, like, we want to kill Junkrat right now. Like, he is our fucking more, more public enemy number one right now. Honestly, like, right here is where I, I would use Primal Rage very aggressively. Get blasted away from him. Here's why I want this boy dead, right? They're still coming back right now. Now, a lot of their team comp currently revolves around Junkrat because... They have Torbjorn, who is not exactly a super consistent DPS. He might, in fact, be playing a different hero at this point. But we killed all their backline except Junkrat. They're coming back right now. If we kill this Junkrat, he's going to be super staggered, and it's going to give us a lot of momentum coming through here. And this is a, an object, a, a checkpoint where you can kind of stall out on. Primal Rage isn't the best ultimate in the world anyway, so, like... If we pop it right here, we can just, like, keep on this fool and try to kill him, and then we stagger him, gives us a lot more momentum coming through here, we can try and stagger the, uh, try and kill the other tanks as well that are still alive, blah blah blah. 
just I think we could have been way more aggressive with our ultimate right there and tried and uh, picked off Junkrat, staggered him and gotten some momentum off of that. And so now we're gonna go in right here. It looks like they still had um, Winston, uh, not Winston, Torbjorn. Why do I keep trying to call everyone Winston? Yeah, they still have Torbjorn. Didn't prop Primal Rage early enough. We ended up dying, which is, is a very sad times. Uh, we're fucking dead again right after getting rezzed. Oh no. If we prop Primal Rage earlier the first time we died, we might not have ever been in that situation to begin with because, well, we wouldn't have died. We could have started, uh, probably punching around the Zarya and it would have made her a lot harder for her to use Graviton well. So maybe it would have gone better if we used Primal Rage soon enough, but we will never know. My boy V-Dubs over here saying a group as if we weren't grouped during that fight. Did you not see where we all got pulled into the Graviton and died together? Oh, the, I really hate people who have nothing productive to say themselves, so they're just going to like parrot things they've heard other people say. Grouping was not the reason that we died right there, nor is it an issue because we're all respawning at the same time. Also, he says group, then he goes off and fucking dies while he's playing Bastion. Well, I've got, I don't know why we're losing, and I've got nothing productive to say, so, let's see, um, 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 shield tank, group, uh, need hit scan, hmm, I've heard, I've heard people say those things before, yeah. Now he's playing May, so, you know, very, very helpful person. Sneaky, sneaky, crouching Winston, the unseen tank is the deadliest. Which is probably, like, literally true, actually. So, May's died as soon as we've gone in, which is very unfortunate for us, and we're gonna pop Primal Rage right now. Um, we just kinda, like, use it for the sake of using it, it looks like. Damn, Zarya's got her ultimate again already. Shit, she's, she is doing some damage right now. Um... There was something I read the other day that was like the biggest statistical difference between a low SR Winston and a high SR Winston is the amount of kills they get with Primal Rage, and it's like... That just seems like such a perplexing thing to me, because I don't feel like that's really the case, but I read that somewhere the other day, I'm like, I don't know if that's true or not, but I guess I don't, I guess I don't have the data to back it up either way. So, like, amazingly, our, uh, we heard their Junkrat start using his tire as well, our Junkrat managed to kill his tire at the same time, Ooh. So... Something I'll say also is that over this period of time, we should have probably just changed off Winston as well, because it's hard to play Winston against Torbjorn and Roadhog already, just because of, like, how they are as heroes. But then also, Torbjorn makes it really hard for us to kill people as Winston, because once he puts armor on somebody, it makes it significantly harder for us to kill them. There's nothing more depressing than when you jump on a Zenyatta or a Mercy, like, I'm gonna kill this fool, and then you find out they've got 75 more hit points than they thought you were gonna have, that you thought they were gonna have, and it's armor as well, so your, like, damage is way nerfed. So, is not, I'm not convinced on playing Winston versus this team either. There's just kind of not that much for us to do. It's like, we can try and bully the Junkrat, which is already hard as Winston anyway, and we can try to bully the supports. There's like nothing else we can really fight on their team, because you can't really fight Torbjorn as Winston, because he's got a shotgun, he's going to fuck you up. So, and you can't fight tanks as Winston anyway, so there's just not really very much for us to do. The only person we can bully around is a DPS we're not that good at bullying around, and like everybody bullies supports around. So I don't think Winston's really the play here either, and... And I think basically any of the other tanks would have been better at this point, because the other tank's D.Va, so we can't change the D.Va right now. So, just kind of like, probably any of the other tanks would have been a better choice. Reinhardt would probably be like the weakest one, because Junkrat's gonna fuck your shield up along with Reinhardt. I'd probably change to Zarya, honestly. Junkrat's like, Junkrat and Torbjorn are really easy to get charge off of. And you can, uh, uh, bubble the D.Va as she goes in. Or, you know, we had a Bastion at one point, you play Orisa and sit on the payload and try to, like, make a really shitty pirate ship, you know? I don't think Winston's the play in this round either. Just because it's like really hard for Winston to really do Winston things versus that this team comp. Because there's just so many things we have to play around. I'm of the opinion where if they've got like a Roadhog, a Reaper, you know, it's no big deal. Once they've got like two things that you need to play around as Winston, at that point it's starting to get very restrictive and hard for you to like play Winston. Because the whole point of playing any hero is that you're trying to do the things you're good at while avoiding the things you're weak at. 
If you've got, if the like, two things on their team are gonna fuck you up as Winston, because Winston does get like super fucked up by the things that fuck him up. If they got two things on there, it's gonna make it hard for you to do what you're supposed to do anyway. And there's just like less targets for you to bully. Like I don't feel like we really contribute to anything that happens during this round. Largely it's Junkrat. Like Junkrat's honestly like getting very big kills with his ultimate. Don't use Primal Rage right there, we're in Transcendence, there's no reason to use it while in that Graviton, and we just end up kind of like wasting the duration off of it. We could have uh, bullied that Zenyatta a little better, we could have like pinned him in one of the corners and, you know, fucked him to death in the corner. Very um, oh. Death by Snoo Snoo. It's a gorilla. Mm. Uh. Wouldn't be very fun. Um, yeah, I just kind of feel like we don't really do anything during this round, really. And it's just kind of like a consequence of the hero we pick. There's just so very few ways for us to do very much versus their team as Winston. It's uh, it's very restrictive. Basically, like, we're trying to kill the supports. But, like, there's so much shit here. Like, look at this. We just, like, walk out and immediately get killed. Uh, granted, like, we jump in, like, leave our bubble behind, I'm pretty sure. We jump into, like, their entire team. Uh, we, yeah, we do jump into their entire team and leave the bubble behind as well. Yeah, we saw somebody get hooked, but, like, we just, like, threw ourselves bodily into the entire enemy team and basically instantly died, which is suboptimal, I would say. So, we've got one fight left. Their Mercy's dead. That's cool. Zenyatta just used Transcendence. That's also cool. Now our Zenyatta's using his Transcendence, which he's built up remarkably fast, actually. Great job. Granted, they do have some alt batteries on their team. Roadhog. So, we, you know, like, now he's using Molten Core, like, we managed to slide in and finish off this Zenyatta, which is cool, but, like, I really feel like we just, like, got carried through this round, because I don't feel like we did very much, and I don't feel like there was very much for us to do as Winston. Junkrat is, like, putting in all the heavy lifting right now. So we're very scared, we're very low health right now, we really, really don't want to die, we're having to duck around a lot of things, and eventually, they're... We're a big boy. There's not, there's not, there's only so many places we can actually hide. Uh, we're gonna get rezzed right here. Fucking slow res as well. Oh no. Uh, we've almost got primal rage. We're gonna get it. There's no way these fools kill us before then, and we're just gonna try and push them off the objective. No problem. Um, so we're gonna play Winston again. I, have, I definitely don't recommend that at this point. Um, do we actually... No, we don't go out the gate as Winston. Okay, I didn't think we did, but, like, we were on Winston. I was like, oh, this is not a good idea. So we've got, uh, we got a Bastion and a Junkrat right here. We're gonna play Reinhardt, and we're gonna sit in front of them. Now, the, the, the thing is, the concerning thing currently is I'm expecting Bastion on their team as well, because they only have to defend for a minute, because we finished in overtime. So what I'm expecting to find over there right now is like Torbjorn, Junkrat, Bastion, Roadhog, right? Like your shield. I expect this shield to get fucked up really quickly. So that that would be my concern with picking Reinhardt. Is like, well, my shield might get fucked up really badly, really quickly, and that's going to be really sad. Now, granted, Orisa is not exactly any better in that respect. But fortunately, we come around the corner and it's l much less bleak than I expected it to be, honestly. I'm a very pessimistic individual. So, our, our shield was mad low. We were waiting for it to regenerate. Bastion is all dead right now. He's very extremely dead. So, we'll, uh, it's gonna make it rather difficult for us to do much. So, we've managed to accidentally kill Zenyatta, which is fantastic news. It looked like we might accidentally kill someone by pushing him off the edge, but not quite. It's, it's very scary, because there's a lot of things around us that do a very lot of damage, but at the same time, we're big boy as Reinhardt, so we kind of just managed to tough it out. This is where Reinhardt's better than Orisa. If Orisa ends up in that situation, she dies. We barely survived as Reinhardt, and we're a, we're a sturdier boy overall. Um, but, but Orisa's got Fortify. Yeah, and that's it. Once it's gone, she's dead. Especially if a, if a Roadhog's there, fucking, like, just unloading into you, you're dead. He's just, gonna, he's just gonna shoot you in the head. Reinhardt has, like, a surprisingly hard head to hit, all things considered. He's got a lot of armor on. Um, anyway. 
Oh, fucking, oof, very distracted. I just, people upset me with these, oh, Arissa's so good. I've still have yet to see I think you're all just letting, like, an Overwatch League cloud your judgment. Anyway, may, we, uh, misaligned the Earth Shatter. It's not worth it just to Earth Shatter, uh, Roadhog anyway. And that's the kind of position where I don't recommend using it, because it gets really weird around corners, so it's not worth, it's just not worth doing. So, uh, our Zenyatta uses Transcendence to block Tac Visor. There was no need, we could have just blocked it, but I mean... You know, don't want, don't want to get fucked by Tac Visor, so use Transcendence. This is uh, the appropriate response. So, currently in overtime. So we're just gonna hug this objective right now. May's dead. V-dubs, my boy. He's alive again now. Not that he's been productive at any point in time. Didn't block the hook right there. Um, fortunately, it was only May. It was only V-dubs, so even if he died, it would be no great loss. So we hear the tire coming. We could have tried to fire strike that. Like, we're really, like, panicky and, like, looking all over the place right now. You hear the tire? Just try and figure out where the tire's coming from and then try to fire strike it. Because, like... You're having a, you have a projectile that is, like, pretty easy to hit, and it just breaks the tire. Uh, we didn't do that. Now we're getting pushed away by Roadhog. Oh, charge back up again. Oh, God, this is just a very bad situation for all parties involved. It's all right. We're live again. Let's go. Um, oh, 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 we're C9-ing it. We're C9-ing it. We got mad thirsty for that drunk rat, and we went out there. We went after him. We're not allowed to go after him, especially not as a slow boy like Reinhardt. Um, this is, like, this, that, that is the kind of situation where, like, the best you can do is just sit on the objective and swing your hammer. And just swing, and swing, and swing. And you'll, you just try to hit the boys, and you try to block for your team where possible. Like, it's one of the, it, you can't leave to chase somebody as Reinhardt in that situation. You know, so you're, you're, you're unlikely to catch him, and you'll probably end up C9-ing, as we did right there. So now we're playing Roadhog again. Um, who's the other tank during this round? Do we have one? Yeah, D.Va. Okay, fair enough. Um, so we've lost our Mercy immediately. Very sad. We we have, like, quite a few heroes that can self-heal, and D.Va's just kind of a big girl. So it's not the end of the world. Their Mercy was not allowed to do that at all. No, sir. She came up behind the gas station to try and pick somebody off up, up off the ground, but it was a trap the whole time. This big, sweaty Australian man just jumped on her with a hook in the back alleys. Oh, God. Dad times. Winston is so very upset. Like, that, that's a tilter. You just get fucking frozen by May, and then Roadhog comes up and is like, Hey, Winston. So, as we can see, they're doing a, a much worse job of push, pushing in this time. May's just managed to kill a bunch of people, uh, with her ultimate. Doesn't say she killed her with her ultimate, but I, she killed him with their ultimate, but I see two headshots on the support kills, so two headshot kills on the supports, and I'm like, May killed her, killed them with her ultimate. Honestly, if you get frozen in May's ultimate, you might as well just die. Like, you might as well just die right there. It would accelerate the process, honestly, if you just died as soon as the freeze fully kicked in. Unless a transcendence is happening. I don't know how the fuck we survived this one. Like, this is um, a game of inches right there. I couldn't believe it. We die right afterwards, but I was like, holy fuck, we're alive. God damn. We died immediately afterwards, but fuck. Like, right there, this like needed to be a centimeter closer and we would have died, but we managed to just barely survive. And we pushed their Roadhog off the edge, so it felt good, man. So things are going, things are going well right now. Winston just wasted primal rage. That's cool, you know. He's trying to kill himself right now. Uh, it was a very optimistic hook on the Winston earlier, which uh, could end up being an issue since you know you don't really want to waste uh, a really big cooldown like the hook. And hooking Winston as he's trying to jump away can often be an optimistic hook. So, as we can see, oh, fucking jump shot, though. Oh, no, oh, fucking just bumping his face into the cactus while he's trying to run away. So, we're running, like, headlong into death right now. 
Like, we, we want this Winston dead. Like, we're not gonna kill this Winston at this point. And, like, look what's happening in the kill feed. Shit, I don't have uh, That's bad. That's, oh god, oh, oh, oh we should be leaving. We, sh we should be leaving right now. We're a greedy boy. We want this Winston dead. This Winston's not gonna be dead. He's gonna be very extremely alive. Uh, and now we are very extremely dead instead of the Winston. Just leave. Just leave. Your whole team's dead. Just get out. Now, Roadhog's a slow boy. There's no guarantee you get out. But there's a better... By running away, you have a better chance of getting away than in running into them. This is just, just simple math, honestly. So, we're coming back. We got, uh, we got Whole Hog. They don't have very long left. They've only got a minute left. We're just gonna use Whole Hog right now. I'm not big into it because we don't know what we're gonna find, basically. Like, we don't know what's waiting on the other side of this wall, exactly. And we come out, and honestly, it's not really a very good time to use Whole Hog. This, uh, you've gotta be, you know, when you don't know exactly what you're gonna come into, you base you don't want to like you don't want to make any assumptions because you know what they say about assumptions it makes an ass out of you and me I don't know why it makes an ass out of me as well but that's how the saying goes anyway well, you know some sayings are like really stupid until you actually like think about it right like one saying that always upset me was have your cake and eat it too cuz i was like I think it's pretty reasonable to want to eat a cake that you have, you know? But what it actually means is you want to eat the cake and then still have the cake after you've eaten it. And I'm like, all right, so that makes sense. But, like, fucking, like, 15 years of my life, I was like, but, but if you got the cake, you would want to eat the cake. That doesn't make any sense to me. Was, sayings are all bullshit, oh, okay. um, is, is the moral of the story. So, you know, we're fighting, I was very distracted thinking about cake, which is, I think, how a lot of people end up getting distracted in situations, honestly. So we can see V-Dubs is being very productive again. Once again, V-Dubs is being productive. Thank God Kyle is here. If Kyle wasn't here, it'd all be over, frankly. Fucking Kyle over here, he is the hero of this game. We definitely deserve to lose this game. Like, we didn't do very much, V-Dubs definitely didn't deserve to win this game. Like, we don't deserve to win, but Kyle deserved to win. So, that's the only reason we've gotten as far as we have right now. So, last fight. They're in overtime as well right now. We're really close to having Whole Hog, which is, like, in this situation, very good ultimate to have, because you can just kind of push him off the objective. Now, this is very, very unfortunate, in the one hand, because this is inconvenient. But at the same time, Winston gives us a lot of ult charge. Doesn't matter. <laughs> While we're dealing with that, like, uh, uh, we are going to be able to farm our ultimate off of Winston and then use our ultimate off that anyway, probably, and then probably push him off the objective, but fuck, didn't even have to. Fucking removed a step for us. C9. One good C9 deserves another, you know? This is, you know, that goes so much better than expected right there. Like, in that corner as well, where there's so many walls to go around. Incredible. You didn't prefer V-dubs? I don't understand. <laughs> he was such a he was such a helpful member of the team. Also, V-dubs, go fuck yourself. Who won the game, huh? Yeah, that's right. Fuck you, V-dubs. Um Even if you're even if you're watching, V-dubs, stop being a cunt. This is unproductive. So, um things that stand out the most in this game, like don't just pick Winston and be like, eh, it's good. Like, think about the enemy team and think, like, is there anyone I can really bully around aside from the supports? Because everybody gets to bully around the supports. That's just how it is, right? Think about it, like, are there actually any DPS I can bully around? Like, if it's like, you know, there's a a fucking Roadhog, a Reaper, and a Widowmaker, then it's still fair enough, because the Widowmaker is going to be miles away from the other two people, and it's very important to bully ra around the Widowmaker. So that's, like, fair enough. But if it's, like, Junkrat, Torbjorn, like in this game, it's like, well, the DPS you can bully around is not even that easy to bully as Winston. And then the other DPS fucks you up. So, this is not a good time to play Winston. Just, like, think about it, like, who can I actually bully? 
you know, and how many things do I have to play around? Is it at this point, like, am I having to play around more things than I can actually, like, bully on their team? Because then it just doesn't make sense to play Winston at that point. Uh, Winston is very good at what he does, but Winst what he does is very narrowly defined. You know, he is very good at bullying certain heroes. And then o other heroes are extremely good at bullying Winston. So you've got to, like, really think about why you're picking him, basically. Like, you, usually when Winston's picked, it's for a reason. He's not one of those heroes that just kind of, like, slots into any situation. He is very narrowly defined. Viva is, like, the more well-rounded Winston, you know? And if you can't, if there's not really a good justification for picking Winston, just pick another tank. Like, don't just, like, commit to it. And always be thinking, like, any hero, it doesn't matter what hero you're playing, really. Just think about it as the game's going on, you know? Like, what am I good at doing? Can I realistically do that versus their team consistently? If no, you should probably change to a different hero. You know, it's just that. Just, like, think about it as the game's going on. Like, what what am I good at? What am I bad at? Can I do what I'm good at while avoiding what I'm bad at against their team? Consistently as well. Don't just think about, like, best case scenario of, like, well, if Mercy just strays off away from the Orisa Roadhog Reaper Torbjorn, I'll kill her. Like, don't just think about that. Like, how realistic is it that I can do it as well, you know? So that's, like, the thing that stands out the most in this game. Sorry I didn't have a better answer for your question in the email. It's just one of those questions that doesn't really have a good answer because that's just one of those very bleak situations where you just have to, like, do your best, basically. So thank you very much for watching. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer, and I hope you found the video helpful.